Nairobi. But they are quiet about this thing. They don't want to talk about this thing. Some of them are very okay. Some of them have been pocketed. This is a work after this dossier. This is something that the county government should take into consideration. And immediately an impeachment motion should be brought forward for this matter. Because Governor Sakaja is a custodian. He has the fiduciary nature, the contractual nature that is signed as an agent of the people to take care of the funds of the people. But himself is, is appropriating these funds. So this is sufficient ground. What else do you need? We want to see how the MCs we are, we are going to be here. James Yosawan TV, thank you so much for joining me. And I have some few issues that I want to air out. Thank you so much for those who are joining me. Thank you so much, Tazmin Awen. As you understand, this is a season of uh, Ramadan. And I've been away from social media due to fasting. And uh, I want to take this opportunity and say thank you so much for those uh, who have been keep watching my videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So there is an allocation that has been made today by uh, Honorable Pabu Owino concerning Mr. Sakaja, Johnson Sakaja, who is the current governor of Nairobi. And this has forced me to come and record this so that we can discuss together. Kitu ambayo menishitua sana ni kuhusu kwamba 30 billion shilling, 30 billion Kenyan shilling have been lost. And the circumstances, the circumstances under which this amount of money has been lost, I'm still wondering. Actually, kama ni ukweli kwamba Auditor General, he did he, he, she did her work in court finding that uh, 30 billion Kenyan shillings have been lost, and the governor Sakaja can't account where those kind of money went. Then uh, let me say this is a very serious issue that uh, we cannot just sit down. And take it for granted. So, Babu, the pesa mbaya or sisi wa uh, sisi wa na inji wa inji tukufu ya Kenya mbaya tunachangia na tunatoa pesa kama hizi kama ushuru. Kila siku. And I have been seen, recently I have seen the Eric Omon trying to expose how can just how can just the this count count government of Nairobi officers who are deployed to collect revenue, how have been how they are being harassed and treat hustlers. So come on equally come by pesa in the pote and then we need to ask the first question we need to ask ourselves that if a pesa in the pote this third billion that the Babo is talking about if pesa in the pote you can work. Because this is a lot of money. 30, we are talking about 30 billion. Not, not 10 bob, not shilling kitano. This is about 30 billion shillings that have been lost. Hmm? Uh, I'm not an expert. Eh? I'm not an expert on a currency or issue of currency. But now, Kitu uh, Menuma Sana Kwamba, he pays in a potea. Kwanjia hambayo haifai. Hmm? At least yata ingekua 1 million, but 30 billion. If it is real that like 30 billion Kenya shilling have been lost, alafu kila siku kanjo wanatuaras, the harassers, wanaharas wanawake, wanaharas vijana mbao wanakitafutia, wanamuaka wana tray ya mayai, 
wanapiga mateke then this is a serious issue that uh, need to intervene not only by by baba wino baba wino but we need such kind of leaders to come out and condemn such kind of bad leadership that we are having me person have never met uh, sakaja i don't know him sijui na toka wapi sijui ni mkenya wa sehemu gani but ukweli oh, kuhipia mwananchi pesa ambayo ni jasho lake ikitumbaa kabisa na we need to demand that the pub uh, uh, sakaja come out and explain to us where is this money going hmm? because sakaja lazima kuja tuambie kwamba hii pesa ambayo babu owina anazungumzia ni ukweli kwamba ni pesa imepotea na iko wapi because as things things start This is that the leadership of count of Nairobi count is has lost its control has lost its direction sababu hii pesa ni nyingi sana na charity sakaja atokeze atueleze kwamba hii pesa imepotea kwa njia gani na imepotea kienda wapi because this is, is a serious issue na nasikia kwamba babu wenye pia amekusia kwamba kuna hospitali ambayo inaenda kufunguliwa na inaenda ku badilisha jina siju kuitwa after uh, his excellence William Ruto's wife mm, Rachel na then babu we know also is saying that this is a, just a trick is a way of trying to cover up to covering up the issues of corruption that is in in Nairobi Mm? uliona video ya Eric Omonde aki expose how can jo kwa kwa nafanya and and this is not my word two days after sakaja akasema kwamba eh, any person caught with a camera recording kanjo should be arrested and then akija akiwapa nguvu maskari kwamba mtu yote ambaye anajaribu kuwa record wa kiharas wananchi wa, washikwe as a call upon na Mr President who is the president of Kenya Dr William Samoei Ruto who is in a hold of PhD to come out and at least try to clean the mess in the county of Nairobi because we have a lot of mess there and if he, he doesn't come out to clean very fast then i'm seeing this uh, i'm seeing where sakaji is heading he might be a bit because nairobi si county of kuchezea na tumeona watu wengi wa kikuja alafu wanafanya wa, wa ujinga being thrown out, out of the office so sakaji must be very keen because wa grao wa kukai power Anyway, if you are watching my channel for the first time, make sure to take some time to click the bell, you subscribe, you follow. You, you can also join my channel, my membership, so that you support this channel. Okay, I cannot, uh, I cannot be here without you. So I need, actually, I need a lot of support from you. Thank you so much for listening me, watching my video. is a custodian he has the fiduciary in nature the contractual nature that is signed as an agent of the people to take care of the funds of the people